This video is part of our Parallels Tech Byte series. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use Let's Encrypt to simplify and automate certificate management. To provide access to published applications and desktops using Parallels RAS in a secure way, SSL encryption should be used. You can use a self-signed certificate, a purchase certificate, and, as demonstrated in this video, leverage the Let's Encrypt service. This video demonstrates how easy it is to use the Let's Encrypt service right from within Parallels RAS. This video demonstrates using the Parallels RAS management portal, but the same actions can also be performed using the Parallels RAS console. To get started, go to Infrastructure, Site Defaults, and click on Let's Encrypt Settings. Now click Edit and provide a consent, indicating that you've read and accepted the end user license agreement. Provide an email address to receive notifications and optionally also change how many days ahead of the expiration date you want the certificate to be automatically renewed. Click Save and go back to Site Defaults and click on Certificates. Note that a self-signed certificate already shows here. This is part of a default Parallels RAS installation. To add a new certificate request, click on the plus sign and select Issue Let's Encrypt Certificate. Provide a name and optionally also a description. Next, select the component types where you want to apply this certificate. This can be any secure gateway as well as our high available low balancer component. Optionally change the key size and any organization details that are shown here. Make sure that the common name matches the public name that is used and note that a corresponding DNS record needs to be in place. In this demo example, we'll only provide a name, common name, email address and leave the other fields as default. Now click Issue Certificate to start the issuing process. As you can see, the status now says Issuing. This takes a couple of minutes to complete. Note that the status now changed to Valid, indicating that our certificate request has been successfully processed. When going back to Certificates, note that the Valid certificate issued by Let's Encrypt is now visible here. Now switching to the user side. We are able to log on and see the resources that are assigned to this user. Click on a certificate icon to confirm the website is marked as trusted and the certificate issued by Let's Encrypt is shown here. The certificate is now also used by our Secure Gateway component, providing secure access to our published resources. And finally, when switching back to the management portal, note that the details of the certificate can be viewed here, including the ability to perform actions on a certificate like disable, manually renew, revoke and delete. With the Let's Encrypt integration now being configured in Parallels RAS, our published resources are now properly secured and certificates will be automatically renewed before they expire. This concludes our video on demonstrating how to use Let's Encrypt to simplify and automate certificate management. For more content, subscribe to our channel and browse to the Parallels TechBytes series.